Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to talk about one of the most common questions I get. Which dressing is right for your wound? Whether you're caring for your own wound or helping out a loved one, or you're a nursing student trying to make sense of all the different types of dressings, this video is for you. I'll walk you through exactly what dressings to use based on how much exudate your wound has. From totally dry all the way up to a four plus heavy drainage. When a wound is dry, our goal is to add moisture and protect the tissue. So here are some great dressing choices for a dry wound. We'll start with a hydrogel. So they donate moisture and soften tissue. Next, we have film dressings, which are great for covering and holding in moisture. Acrylic dressings maintain a moist environment while being gentle. And a non-adherent contact layer is ideal for fragile or sensitive wound beds. Now you do want to avoid absorbent dressings as they are going to dry out your wound even more. Now, if your wound is producing just a little bit of drainage, so a one plus, you want to maintain moisture without over absorbing. Now, as we go on here, you will see that some of the dressings do overlap between levels. The first one up is acrylic dressing. So this is good for light drainage and protection. Hydrocolloids promote moist healing with gentle autolytic deprivement. So this is great when you have a wound that has that sluffy material over the wound bed. Um, it almost looks yellow. Hydrophilic dressings absorb light fluid and keep the environment balanced. Moving on to two plus drainage. So when the exudate starts to increase, we need dressings that can absorb more while still protecting the wound. Your best options include hydrocolloids for moderate fluid and shallow wounds. Hydrophilic dressings are a good choice when you want some absorption without sticking. Gauze is an affordable option that will absorb moderate amounts of exudate. Foam dressings are soft, non-adherent, and provide good absorption. Next, we're going to talk about three plus drainage. Now we're talking about wounds with significant drainage, they're wet dressings, leakage, and you need frequent dressing changes. So here are the top options for these types of wounds. So we have high absorbent pads. So they are designed for soaking up large amounts of exudate. Hydrofibers or jelly fibers, they turn into a gel and lock in moisture. Foam dressings are still a great option here, especially when you layer it with other dressings and you use it as a cover dressing. We have alginates, they're derived from seaweed and they're excellent for absorbing and shaping into the wound. And lastly, we have hypertonic dressings, which help draw out excess fluid and bacteria. These are normally used as a packing inside of a wound. Now, if your wound is consistently soaking through the dressings, you're going to need a dressing with maximum absorption. So we're going to use a super absorbent pad, and this is ideal for chronic or large wounds with a lot of drainage. Now, this can be used with a hydrofiber or jelly fiber, um, it, which is normally packed into the wound. Even alginates work great. Um, so you'd use your super absorbent um, as your cover dressing, and you can use your jelly fiber or your alginate um, right on the wound or as a packing to help absorb more of this fluid. Now with these types of wounds, you always want to protect the peri wound because it often becomes macerated. So you do want to use a barrier film um, because you do not want that outer tissue getting saturated as it can cause more tissue breakdown and we want the wound to heal here. We don't want it to break down at all. Um, so it comes in sprays or wipes. Now, when you're dealing with heavy exudating wounds, often they are also infected. Um, so you do need advanced products and a little extra care in these cases. So you're super absorbent with an antimicrobial so it can handle the fluid and the bacteria. 
Antimicrobials used on wounds include silver, iodine, honey, PHMB, methylene blue, gentian violet, and chlorhexidine. If the wound is producing an odor, you can use uh, charcoal dressing, and this will help absorb any odors that are coming from the wound. Wound backs or negative pressure wound therapy can be helpful with large quantities of fluid. Um, it helps reduce swelling and support healing, but we need to be very cautious uh, with infected wounds as it can be contraindicated in some cases. If your wound is leaking heavily, smells bad, or looks infected, please talk to your wound care nurse or doctor as it may be a sign of infection and a need for antibiotics. So let's review. So dry wounds, you can use hydrocolloid film, acrylic dressings, and non-adherent wound dressings. One plus drainage, acrylic, hydrocolloids, and hydrophilic dressings. Two plus drainage, hydrocolloid, hydrophilic, gauze, or foam. Three plus drainage, high absorbent pads, hydrofiber, jelly fiber, foams, alginate, or hypertonic dressing. Four plus drainage, is your super absorbance, hydrofiber, jelly fiber, alginates, and hypertonic dressings. Four plus with infection, you want to add your antimicrobials, charcoal foam for odor, and possibly a wound vac, but that's done with extreme caution under the supervision of a wound care specialist or doctor. The key is matching the right dressing with the amount of drainage or condition of the wound. I do have my wound assessment and dressing selection tool available on Amazon, and this will help you select the appropriate dressing under many different conditions. I'll put the link down in the description. If you did find this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more wound care tips. And let me know down in the comments what other wound care topics you'd like me to cover in the next videos. Bye for now. Don't forget to visit my website, thewoundconsultant.com for all your wound care needs. Whether you're seeking professional wound care consultations, access to high quality supplements, holistic healing, digital resources, informative books, or high quality wound care supplies, we have everything to support you. Whether you're dealing with a wound or you're a healthcare professional, there's something for everyone. Visit today and take the next step in effective wound care.